A very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is set to patronize the second session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representative Councils on Sunday, October the 13th, 2019. A consultative meeting was held in Egypt today between the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iraq, Dr. Mohammed Al Hakim, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Egypt, Samah Shukri, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs and Cabinet Member of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil bin Ahmed Al Jabir, the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, Dr. Anwar bin Mohammed Gargash, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates of Jordan, Ayman Al Safadi. During the meeting, they exchanged views on the most important Arab issues and the latest developments in the region. They also stressed the importance of intensifying joint communication and coordination to face the various changes and challenges in a way that ensures the security, safety, sovereignty and independence of the Arab countries and supports the stability of the whole region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Egypt, Sama Hassan Shukri, today in the city of Cairo. During the meeting, the two ministers stressed the importance of the extraordinary session of the Council of the Arab League at the ministerial level to come up with a unified Arab position regarding the military attack of the Turkish Republic on the northeast of Syria and the need for consultation and coordination in order to strengthen joint Arab action, frameworks and consolidate security in the region. The chief executive of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid, praised the outcome of the government form of 2019 held under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al-Khalifa, the Prime Minister of Bahrain, at the initiative of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al-Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier. Mr. Al-Qaid noted that the form's fourth edition portrayed Bahrain's leadership's vision towards achieving the kingdom's national aspirations and highlighted the government's forward-looking policies aimed at elevating productivity, enhancing excellence in service and bolstering confidence in the public sector in line with the economic vision of 2030, the achievement of the kingdom's development goals and in order to meet citizens' aspirations. Mr. al qaid highlighted that in accordance with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's directives to achieve the highest standards of government efficiency, all government entities have made efforts to further improve their processes and and public service delivery using Team Bahrain's resources to implement the government's program of 2019 to 2022. He celebrated the successful initiatives and projects discussed during the forum, which exemplify the advances in public sector competitiveness and quality of service. Among those initiatives, Mr. al qaid noted the Government Service Center Evaluation Taqeem at the National Suggestions and Complaint System Tawassal as the most prominent ones in supporting innovation and service excellence. He praised the success of last year's forum in which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince awarded 10 government entities with the gold classification, adding that this encourages the committee to continue its work and motivates other centers to improve their quality. The first edition of the Taqeem Committee prepared a standards guide for government service centers, which is considered a roadmap towards transforming them into smarter and and more innovative organizations. It also conducted tens of workshops, providing training to hundreds of employees from over 19 government entities, as well as evaluating 89 centers in two phases. A press conference was held on the sidelines of the forum in which Mr. al qaid provided the highlights of the panel and gave an overview of the Tawassal system. Mr. al qaid noted that 37 government entities are enrolled in the system and that more will be added soon. IGA was one of the entities honored at the government's forum 2019, receiving the Excellence in Communication with Beneficiaries Award.